Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Vijay, consultant pediatrician and neonatologist, Medicare Hospitals, Vizad. But today I am going to talk a few things about vaccination in children. Vaccination is an effective tool in preventing and also eradicating diseases. So till date, we have eradicated diseases like smallpox and we are on the verge of eradicating poliomyelitis. Vaccination helps in reducing the morbidity and also mortality from severe childhood infections and this has been proven in the last 50 years. What happens is when you vaccinate a child, he will develop specific immunity against a disease and also it helps in preventing the spread of disease from one person to another. So thereby, by giving a vaccine, it helps the individual and also the spread of disease in the community. Till date, we have developed vaccines against more than 20 serious and dreadful diseases like diphtheria, purchases, tetanus, influenza and measles. So, and most of the vaccinations to children are being given in the early infancy. So vaccination schedule has been made in such a way that those infections which occur at a specific age can be dealt with. So coming to the vaccination schedule in children, so we usually give the birth vaccines that is the BCG, OPV and Hepatitis B immediately after birth or before discharge from the hospital. So the following which the schedule can be as per the IAP schedule or the National Immunization Schedule. So at the 6, 10 and 14 weeks, we give vaccines against DPT, Hib, uh, PCV and also Rotavirus. Uh, at 6 months of age, we give the flu vaccine two doses with a gap of one month. And at 9 months and 15 months, we give the measles vaccine in the form of MMR. So post-infancy, we usually give the booster doses for pneumococcal and also the Hib vaccines. Beyond infancy, flu vaccine will be given uh, every year as a booster dose before the onset of monsoons. So till now we have discussed everything about vaccination in healthy children. So when it comes to the high risk children, that is children having chronic diseases like a chronic liver disease or any chronic lung disease, we additionally give few more vaccines. The pneumococcal vaccine, polysaccharide pneumococcal vaccine, the cholera vaccine and uh, the meningococcal vaccine. These are few vaccines which we have to give in addition to the routine immunization schedule in high risk individuals. So finally, I say that we should vaccinate all children as per the schedule to have a healthier and happier life. Thank you.